You may not have seen this, but in one of my latest videos, I went down to my new local library to check out some books for my library challenge video series. I will have that video linked down below if you want to check it out. But I realised that my local library doesn't get a whole lot of funding. Obviously, it's not the library's fault, but I do want to try and maybe do a little bit of an extreme makeover library edition where I want to actually give back to my local library and donate some books. So today I want to do another unhaul. I had literally just done one before I moved into this place. I got rid of 300 books. I do still have some of those books in boxes so I might go through those and see if I can donate any of those to my local library as well. I already donated all of those middle grade books from that previous video to some mental health children's hospitals in the northeast all thanks to Sarah. So Sarah if you're watching this hi. And so today I'm going to go through my library and see what I can donate to my local library and I did tell them that I was a middle grade bookseller for a while and so I do have still a good few children's books that I think could be a lot better off in a library where other children can read it. I say other children as if I'm a child. Where children can read them. And I did ask the last time I was there, I said, do you accept donations? And the lovely librarian said, yes we do. Uh, if you just send us a list at this email, we can tell you what we can take and what we can't take and all of that good stuff. So in this video, I'm not just going to unhaul however many books I end up unhauling. I'm also going to send off a list. Well, I'll research as well what they already have. Send them a list and I will let you know what they've accepted. And then tomorrow morning, if they get back in time, I do want to try and take them down to the library myself. I mean, <laughs> it's a bit of a steep walk, but you know, if I have to carry a couple of boxes, that's fine by me. Or I might say if I can get a lift. And then you'll know as well what I'm donating to my library. I'm so excited because it's just the idea that my new local library that I'm going to be frequent every now and then just knowing that I'm like replenishing the stock myself. I'm giving them the books that are going to be on the shelves and I'm going to walk in there and I'm probably going to spot my books on the shelves every now and then as well. I'll be like, oh, should I check that out because I donated it? You know what I mean? Can you imagine if I get rid of all these books and I just end up taking them out of the library? I mean, I do already have like a stack of books that I want to give the library already just from like different blogs that I've already read recently that I knew I wanted to give to my library. But before I get into all of that, please do like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already and leave all the comments down below as well. Let me know all of your thoughts on the video. I am so glad it's kind of miserable outside now. I know you guys are like, why would you rush the summer? But I've never been a summer person anyway. I much prefer wearing long sleeve shirts and jumpers and having a nice hot oat milk latte. That's what I like. Homemade. Firstly, I did do a video recently where I read some of the best books of the 21st century and I do have three books that I want to donate to my library after reading some of the books for it. So one of them is My Brilliant Friend by Eleanor Ferrante. I wanted to loan this out from my library but and it was in Central Library but not my local library. And with this being like the number one book apparently, I thought maybe my local library having this would be so beneficial. And again, I'm talking about all of these as if they've already accepted them all. They haven't. They might not accept this. But yeah, I did try and get this sent from Central Library to my local library, but it's overdue. It was due back July 26th. So I know my library arch nemesis, Bitch Florence, loaned that book out months ago and just hasn't given it back. It smells like something she would do. So I've got a copy and I'm going to give it to my library. And this is going to hurt a lot of people, but I wasn't the biggest fan of the fifth season by N.K. Jemison. It just wasn't really my cup of tea. It was a little bit bigger than I anticipated in terms of the brain energy that I had to use for it. Plus there were sections in second person, which I do despise. I despise second person narratives. So I will be donating the fifth season as well as The Obelisk Gate, which is the sequel. I don't have the third book. I was going to get it because I really wanted to read the Broken Earth trilogy. But after reading the first one, I was like, okay, this isn't really my thing. I also have seven Stephen King books that I want to unhaul because I've been getting those nice new covers that have been coming out the past few years because I love a little bit of uniformity on my bookshelves. So I'm going to give them The Shining, Cujo, Salem Slot, Doctor Sleep, Pet Cemetery, It and The Dead Zone. And I already know they don't have a lot of Stephen King books when I went there. And especially not like any of like the classics like Pet Cemetery, The Shining and stuff. They have some like new ones like Holly and I think Fairy Tale, but not really a whole lot. So I feel like that could be good. But I have been getting these editions instead because I am reading through the Stephen King bibliography for the very first time from beginning to end. So I, I wanted... I wanted these ones, okay? It's very superficial of me, I know. But hopefully me donating the books to my library will help cancel out the consumerism. I'm also going to give my library the books that I read for the Young Adult Book Prize that I was recently a judge for. In fact, the winner ceremony is this Thursday and I'm really excited. But these were fantastic, fantastic Young Adult books and I just really want to gift them to my local library so that the teens 
in my area will have the ability to read these fantastic books. Yours from the Tower by Sally Nichols, Murder on a School Night by Kate Weston, Benjamin Dean's How to Die Famous, Happy Head by Josh Silver, Eric's Was the Thing by Laura Stephen, Gwen and Not or Not in Love by Lex Croucher, This is How You Fall in Love by Anika Hussain, This Book Kills by Raven Aguron, Girl Goddess Queen by Bay Fitzgerald, and The First Move by Jenny Island. I just think so many amazing teens in this area will just love these so so much so yeah giving these to my library is what i wanted to do those are the only ones that i'd already picked out let's go through my young adult adult shelves and the middle grade shelves which i think there will be quite a few and you know i did tell her i was a children's bookseller so the librarian is probably expecting a lot of middle grade books on that list but uh, let's just go through some of these i don't think there's a lot that i can donate from this side because when i did my 300 book unhaul i got rid of so many that i just knew i didn't really want so I feel pretty good about this section but let's just let's just have a quick little look just in case there are some things that I missed I would love to give them the familiar by Leigh Bardugo because I didn't love it but I think I've highlighted in it yeah see I can't give them any that I've annotated so unfortunately that's stayed on my shelves for now oh my god I would also love to get rid of middle of the night but again I've annotated the fuck out of this too because <laughs> it's shit I feel like they might already have the it girl but I got this because I thought, oh, I might try Ruth Ware again. But if I do, I can just get it from the library. I don't think I'm going to get to this anytime soon. So I feel like it's... It, I hadn't read it yet. I, I don't like unhauling books I haven't read yet. But it's going to happen because I just haven't been a big fan of Ruth Ware. And I guess it's okay if I do put on the list books that they've already got on their catalogue system. Because they might think, oh, this book would be great in a different library. You know, maybe that might happen. Yeah, I didn't love the book of the most precious substance, but did I annotate it? I did not. Okay, I might unhaul the book of the most precious substance. Read it two months ago now, I think. I wasn't like blown away by it. Yeah, Study and Drowning I didn't like. I don't know if they can take book box subscription books that you know like Illumicrate and Fairy Loot. I don't know if they can take those. Um, I read Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reid years and years and years ago. I don't think I'm ever going to reread it so I will also put that on the list. Although I, I do think I've seen that in their library but We'll see. I would love to buy a copy of Someone You Can Build a Nest In by John Westwell that is unannotated and donated to the library because I freaking love that book and I want more people to read it. I might do that, you know. I might just buy it, like the UK version. I might just buy it and just give them it. <laughs> this is my agenda. Now I want to start forcing my agenda on my local library. You just watch. I'm going to be spreading my seed all over this place. I read The Ballad of Black Tom a couple of months back and I liked it. But I don't think I'll reread it, so yeah, I could donate this too. That could be pretty good if they'll if they'll have it. I don't know why I don't go through these books before I start filming, because I always end up just wasting the battery on the camera by taking so bloody long. Okay, I love Elizabeth Acevedo. I read these years ago, and I really enjoyed both of them. I think they gave both four stars, and I will not reread them. I feel like I'm going to be giving so much to their young adult section, actually. Which is, again, fantastic to me. Young adult books can be so important to teens. I would love to give them Shogun by James Clavell because I've ended up DNF in it, but I've annotated it, so I can't do it. I can't do it. Why did I do that? <laughs> Could you imagine if I gave them Ice Planet Barbarians? Could you imagine them putting that front and centre? I have two... Co oh, wait, I think they're all signed. I was going to say, I could donate a copy of Twin Crowns, but I think both of them are signed, yeah, to me. And to, yeah, both of them are signed, which I'm happy about, but I feel like they could have done with having twin crowns in their library too. I have already read and loved Freshwater by Akwake and Nezi. Read that two years ago, really enjoyed. So I'll put that on the list. Oh my God, I still have the bookmark in this. <laughs> I started Guardians of the Galaxy, No Guts, No Glory. I'm keeping it. I I'm not gonna donate it just yet because I still want to read it. But I started reading it like two or three years ago and I'm on page 29. I still have the bookmark in there. That's hilarious. Let's put that back. Yeah, okay. Shipped by Angie Hockman. Read this for my swap and screen time for reading time video and I liked it. I thought it was a fun time. Not going to reread it. So that can go to the library. A couple more teen books I can give them as well that I think are going to be so incredible in the library. On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. Read this when it came out. Really enjoyed. And Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas too. Both Waterstones exclusive editions, both signed. Hopefully they will take Waterstones exclusive editions too. 
I don't actually know if they will. This is terrible, but I do think that's all the Young Adult Nadal books. I'm telling you, I went so thoroughly through when I did my 300 book unhaul, I didn't think I would be able to unhaul so much. But let's take it over to the middle grades now, and I'm sure there's gonna be so much more here that I can give them. I might have to kill my darlings, as they say, during this bit, because it will hurt, but uh, I feel like some of these, even though I'm gonna miss them, I do think that middle grade section the children's section in that library needs a lot of donations. I'm already doing a terrible job. I don't know if they already have this. October, October by Katya Balin. I've had it for years and it could be perfect to read in October, but I just don't think I'm gonna get to it. There are some great Emma Carroll books here that I loved when I read them. The Week at World's End was so good. I read that three years ago. Very, very good. I, I just love Emma Carroll. I think she's a fantastic historical middle grade writer with a Tale of Truth, Water Lake as well. Kind of newish, this one. I think it only came out in the last couple of years. But also Escape to the River Sea by Emma Carroll too, but it was inspired by Eva Rabitzen, Journey to the River Sea, which I haven't actually read myself. But I think that could also be wonderful in the library. Locked Out Lily by Nick Lake. I'm gonna give them some like creepy children's books. Maybe they can do a display coming up to Halloween of like scary middle grades, maybe? The Tree Keepers by Kieran Lawwood. I'm really only interested in reading the Legend of Podkin One Year series by Kieran Lawwood. I love M.G. Leonard so much. I feel like, I don't think I annotated it, no. I read this over Christmas last year and I really liked it. I don't know if they will take American books as well. This I got from an Elkray Junior box years ago, and I'm pretty much getting rid of all the Elkray Junior books I ever got. They never really, like, now appeal to me that much. But I will try it. I'll see if they will accept some American books. Wish You Was, The Tiny Guardian of Lost Letters. This was so cute, so adorable, perfect for Christmas time. They can do a Christmas display as well after the Halloween display. I should work at that library, I'm telling you. Another Alcoy Chitty book, C.C. Rios and the Desert of Souls. I already have the hardback copies of this, so don't shit your pants. But Amari and the Night Brothers and Amari and the Great Game, books one and two. The children in my local area need to read these books. So my favourites. I think I saw Amari and the Night Brothers at the library last time I was there, but I don't think I saw the sequel. So if they can take the sequel, that's great. But I do have them in hardback, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm keeping my hardbacks. As much as I had the best intentions, but the Train to Impossible Places series. I love the covers of these so freaking much. I love the spines of them. I love seeing them on my shelves when I pass. They're just so colourful and beautiful and amazing. I read the first book four years ago and I just, I, I haven't progressed. I, and at this point, I don't think I ever will. And it's the exact same case with the Cogheart. I keep having to like pronounce that because sometimes autocorrect on YouTube captions say something else, but Cog. Heart. The series, it's the same case as The Train of Impossible Places. I read the first one years ago and I just never continued and I had the best intentions. Again, love how they look on the shelves. But an entire series in my local library, look, the children are getting fed. I might be able to fit my How to Train Your Dragon books on my shelves now because they're still on the floor. Proud of Me by Sarah Hagerhold. This is a LGBTQ plus middle grade. So I think having more of those in my local library and people having access to that so that they are seen and validated, that is the right way to go if you ask me. I might donate my copy of Me, My Dad and the End of the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean. Love this so much. And I do still have my proof copy of it. I will never get rid of my proof copy but I might give my final copy of it to my library so that they have more LGBTQ plus middle grades. Oh my God, there's still so many of these that I wanna keep. <laughs> more amazing M.G. Leonard books. The Twitch series, I think this is all of them. There might be another one after this, but Twitch, Spark and Clutch, I can donate to my library. And I think maybe they already have Twitch, but if they can take books two and three and have the series, why wouldn't they? I am sweating. A Glass House of Stars by Shirley Ma. Great book. You know, I have some of my favourite authors that I just want to give the books to so that more people will be exposed to my favourite authors. But I don't want to part with my copies of it. So I may just like keep buying books for the library. Because <laughs> I'd love to donate some like Elle McNichol, Michelle Harrison, Sophie Anderson, Jennifer Bell. You know, like so many Jamie Littler. Well, I might have some extra copies of Frost Heart. They have Frost Heart too. I don't know if they have Frost Heart 1 and 3. I might have some extra copies in the cupboard. Anyway, let's get back to it. Oh, I love this book so much. Onyeka and the Academy of the Sun by Tola Okogwu. There needs to be more 
black authors in my local library. We have some Baby Austin, we have some Benjamin Dean, we need to add more. It would be amazing if young black girls in my local area as well feel seen. So I think that would be incredible to donate to. Great book though, if you, if you want to read it, read it. I'm not really unhauling books that I hate <laughs> or didn't like. I'm just like unhauling books that I've read and I probably won't reread and I just think they're better off in the library. Oh no way. I think that's it. That can't be it. That's barely anything. I need to give them more. Surely there's more I can give them. <sighs> I mean, this is 56 books, which is a lot of books. But I don't know, I was, I was hoping to get more. I was. I mean, I'll go through the boxes of the ones I unhauled in my previous video, the ones that I haven't yet donated myself, and see what I have, and see if we can get this number up, because that librarian's gonna open the email and see 56 books, and she's gonna think, huh. Pathetic. I'm kidding. I know she's not to be like that. Right, I've set up my laptop in this room so that I can start doing the list. But I found another one that I could donate. Stephen King's The Stand. Their Stephen King section is going to be pretty full when I'm through with it. But also, I don't know if they take manga or even like any graphic novels apart from like Heartstopper, which is the only graphic novel I've seen in there. But if they do take manga, this might hurt a little bit, but I would be so proud to donate these to my local library. And then when people read it and it becomes their new favourite thing, they have me to thank for it. But my One Piece 3-in-1 editions of like the first 12 volumes, I have all of the single volumes, so I don't really need these. I was even flirting with the idea of collecting all of the Omnibus editions because I love them so much and One Piece is my favourite. But... If they do accept manga, this could be the best way of starting that manga section. And they might take these because, you know, the Netflix show was very popular, so they might want to take them and just put them in the young adult section or something, if they don't want to start a manga section or anything like that. This could be so good for them. And then maybe we can start trickling in some manga when I've got, like, manga to unhaul. But to start off with One Piece, I'm just saying, oh, it's gonna hurt a little bit to take that out of my collection, but it will be for the best. I'm just a boy who's been happily avoiding everyone. Get nothing done. And nobody else in this room makes any sense except for you. This is absolutely not what I wanted to do when I moved in, but this is the cupboard in the living room, and I have literally just got <laughs> the uh, the unhold boxes still here. So I am going to quickly go through these. I think there's only one, two, three, seven boxes of the unhold ones, but you know, it would have been so nice to have this, this uh, cupboard free instead of it being rammed with books that I was supposed to get rid of. So I'm going to go through those add them to the list and just see if the library wants any of them. Look, I was in the middle of moving house, you know, like trying to get all of the unhauled books sorted. It just wasn't going to happen, was it? You're just a girl who's been hiding from the world inside your bed. She's been hurt too. But we'll be alright if you put your hand in mine and don't look back. Right, I've gone through all of the boxes that were in the cupboard and I did all of this while listening to the Greatest Showman soundtrack. Watched the movie last night with my patrons for a movie night and oh, I just can't stop listening to the soundtrack. How often can you listen to the soundtrack? Never enough, never, never. Anyway, I have done the list. I've added all of these books here and all of these books here as well, as well as the ones upstairs that are part of the official unhaul, because all of these have been unhauled in previous videos. They just need a home, so hopefully my library will take them. I'm unsure whether they'll take some of the special edition like Fairy Loot, Illumicrate, Waterstones editions, but you know what? I, I just put everything in, split it in manga, adult, young adult, children's 9 to 12, 
and I put in all the authors and all the ISBN numbers, so hopefully that will help them decide on what they want to keep or not. I put it on Google Sheets because I don't know if they're allowed to open attachments on the library computers. So I, I think maybe sharing a link to this Google Sheets might help. And if I do it so that they can edit it as well and they highlight the ones that they want and then I can see that, then that'll be great. I don't know how much they're gonna take. I think there's around about 170-ish, 160-ish books on this list now. <laughs> I think that might be a little bit too much. And they're probably gonna say this list and be like, oh my God. But yeah, hopefully they can take at least some of it. They are open until 7 p.m. today and it's now like 4.15 p.m. I'm starving so I'll have something to eat. But uh, hopefully they can check it out today, get back to me by tonight. I can box them all up because I still have all of the boxes from when I moved. All of them are in the shed. Dozens upon dozens of boxes. Hopefully there's not that many spiders in them. So I'll pen this email, send it off. I'll come back to you when I know which ones they're taking and which ones they're not taking. And I am starving. So I think I've earned the right to order takeout. I think I have. It's naughty, but necessary. Okay, so the good news is I've had something to eat and I'm feeling very full now. I'm not knocking on death's door anymore, not to be dramatic. The bad news is my local library can't take my books. <laughs> yet. So I had no idea that the library is closing for refurbishment very soon. I had no idea. That's going to put a spanner in the works for my library challenge video series as well for episode three. Every single episode there's been some kind of drama. But anyway, I did send it off and I got a lovely email back saying that the library is closing and the order for refurbishment work, dates still to be determined. So I'm afraid this isn't a good time for us to accept donations into stock for them. Looks like you have some great books on your list, but we can't take them at the moment, which is fine. I've sent an email back saying, thank you so much for letting me know. I don't have anywhere else to take them, so I will keep hold of them. And when the refurbishment is all done and the library can accept donations again, I will be more than happy to wait and resubmit the list then. Hopefully that sounds good and better look with a refurbishment. It just means that the books are just gonna be hanging out at my house for who knows how long, two months, three months, I don't know. Just when I wanted to get that storage space back as well. But never mind, she did say it was a great list. So I do have hope that they will eventually take at least some of these books off my hands. So you will just have to subscribe and stay in touch to find out if the books end up getting donated to the library. Fingers crossed it's a quick refurbishment. But thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave all your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know if you read any of the books that I'm unhauling. Do you have any fond memories of them? Just chat to me down below. I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons for supporting my channel. If you'd like to join my Patreon, then the link is in the description box. But yeah, I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye.